Number 10, weapon customization with heat sinks and extended barrels. Everyone loves weapon customization, it's cool, but there are two weapon mods that didn't make any sense, the SMG heatsink and every barrel extension. According to the SMG heatsink, it increases heat conductivity of thermal clip receivers. It negates heat generated by some shots. Thus, there's a chance that each time you pull the trigger, heat won't be generated. Did the laws of thermal dynamics suddenly get suspended? Who made this magical device that may cause friction to generate no energy? Forget the Normandy stealth drive system, just hook a few thousand of these things into it. If you skew probability high enough, chances are you won't generate any heat. We'll call this the improbability drive. Let's also not forget how Mass Effect 1 had frictionless materials. Apparently the galaxy just threw those away because, you know, thermoclips. Hooray, backwards technology. And then there's the barrel extension. The problem with this is almost every gun in Mass Effect fires a bullet as a shaving of metal the size of a sand grain. Therefore, the shape of the grain is irrelevant. Therefore, there can't be any traditional rifling within the barrels of guns, or extended barrels of such guns, unless they explicitly state barreling involves a magnetic surface or element zero markings to cause the grain to be aerodynamic or increase in velocity in some way, because making a longer barrel isn't going to increase the force of the projectile. Number 9. Creepy Shepherd Side Quests When you're busy saving the galaxy and you take time to walk around a space station to explore, it's pretty weird for Shepard to eavesdrop on conversations, then, on pure hearsay of eavesdropping, to go across the entire galaxy on the off chance some random ancient relic or object will appear on some planet, somehow, you can find with your magical probes, and then you go all the way back to said space station and talk to a person you never even bothered to talk to in the first place with the item he or she was looking for for absolutely no reason, but the game gives you some contrived EMS score value. This is strange, creepy, and gives me no incentive to do anything. Shepard has absolutely no good reason to do anything for some stranger because he heard a part of their conversation. Not only is it contrived and asinine, if I was the recipient of Shepard's obscure generosity, like Shepard didn't have anything better to do or was some lonely creep, I'd be really skeptical. Okay, so some guy went across the galaxy to find some ancient relic no one has found before, since antiquity, and they're just going to give it to me for free. Y yeah, whatever. You can go con someone else, buddy. Bioware, what happened to normal questing? You know, talking to people? What, was making 40 or so odd dialogue options with three voice actors too difficult? Aside from now making Shepard come across this weird voyeuristic opportunist charity giver, we simply can't believe in some random ramblings from strangers of objects that will somehow help whatever we're trying to do. And for the love of Liara, give us some way to track these random quests. Number 8. Pinging equals Reapers and Scanning I'm glad they removed probing for minerals. Instead, it's probing for stuff and pinging for random objects. Never mind, no one understands how you acquired minerals by launching probes, but now you just follow this radar line thing and click on a big glowing white dot. So you can get that random stranger some relic they want for some unexplained meaningless reason. But wait, while you're at it, Reapers chase you down in a real-time version of the galaxy map. Kind of like playing Final Fantasy, you know, in the world map explore screen, but Instead of getting into an enemy encounter, the game just ends. No conflict, no challenge, it's just over. You lose. Good day, Space Cowboy. Congratulations, Bioware. You just turned your crappy exploration into a 3D isometric version of crappy, wallless, 360-degree Pac-Man with no extra lives or power-ups. Time suddenly stops when you probe locations, because... The Reapers are very considerate, and really want you to shoot some probes. But luckily, your only escape is to hit the edge of the circular solar system map, which would cause you to go to light speed. Yeah, that's a great design. And seriously, how the hell do Reapers even find you? So what if you're pinging? Doesn't the Normandy have an IFF installed? How the hell do Reapers detect a pinging signal solar systems away or entire sectors away? What, do they have something up their ass about the Normandy pings? Do these pings get sent through the mass relay buoys? How powerful are these things? And if the Reapers are so bongo for Normandy, why do they completely avoid Normandy at every other situation in the story? Number 7. Spacebar does everything. Again. 
want to open a door or hack a door or pick up an item or use any object in the environment like a ladder or a console want to jump across a chasm how about running or storming as they call it want to roll in one of four directions want to snap into cover or storming into cover how about standing up from cover or jumping over cover or rolling out of cover how about wanting to talk to someone want to select a dialogue option or advancing a cutscene what if you retreat from combat because you're getting killed but you end up getting stuck to a wall but you really just wanted to run away and then you just die because you're stuck to cover out in the open yep you can do that with spacebar number six mass effect 2 characters squad mates and their introductions not all of them suck but these stand out as big ones if Shepard is punching anything, why isn't their fist going through slab bulkhead like this? While introducing a new character, we shouldn't even be bothered to characterize Shepard for being a cybernetically augmented super soldier who can only fire certain guns. Oh right, they changed those too. Yeah, that might be too interesting to showcase Shepard's transhumanism during romantic encounters, fighting, or just plain talking to anyone. Why does Edie identify as a female? and have female emotions. Does Edie even have emotions? In fact, it seems there's no suggestion of Edie having real emotion and she's just simulating it through her voice. And then they have that porn star robot body. Chakwaz is once again completely useless, even though there was a specific scene she could have been helpful, but she wasn't even on the ship at the damn time. She can become an EMS value researching something and then you can get her equally useless French counterpart. What is the point of this choice? Then there's Kasumi, who just sucks at talking. What, did we lose formalities in the future? So, remember when you helped me get Keiji's gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. Geez, how about, hi, how's it going? And Shepard just carries on the conversation as if they're just spoken minutes before. No, hey Kasumi, nice to see you after six months, what's up? I was incarcerated. Hey, I, I guess that never happened to you, huh? Since Kasumi had absolutely no meaningful story or theme to share, somehow her data you may or may not have gets her in the situation where she saves the Hanner homeworld. That doesn't make any sense. So why didn't she hang out with Jacob? She wouldn't be quiet about the guy. Why did she take off and do nothing? She could have hung out on a beach with Mr. Abdominal Saluting Muscles Dweeb and completely avoided that other Spectre guy. And Jacob is... Jacob. If we didn't need him to be more of a black male stereotype, well... Thanks. Why did he hook up with female Hawk, a doctor researcher, if she seems more interested in Shepard than Jacob, who's right next to them even after Jacob just saved them both? You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. I cannot buy any romance between these people. So Jacob sat on a beach and started thinking, obviously not about galactic genocide or directly or indirectly helping Shepard or even attempting to stop the Reapers or even though he's been through hell with Shepard. Or how about just following a close friend like Miranda or any of his other friends? The fact the story had to invent friends for Jacob is kind of telling. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure believe it so what's going on with you you still like what you're doing things are good i'm good got to take the moments when you can so true what is wrong with you who talks like this and then the worst culprit of them all the beautiful wise dignified samara the huge retcon of the amount of ardat yakshi in the galaxy what did they suddenly get caught by all handful of other justicars in six months Compared to Samara's search for one of them after hundreds of years, she didn't find any others, no rumors. We have Shepard pulling her daughter away from danger instead of Samara, even though Samara previously protected her with the biotic bubble, and her entire reasoning for being a Jesticar and being here, in this place, is for her daughters. I know we've reduced all the characters and side characters to what their theme was previously, but this is really pushing it. There's this dialogue which causes her to commit suicide. If you stop her, then her daughter talks about her own code, and Samara chooses not to kill herself because her daughter will stay behind and do something. What is she going to do? Get killed by Reaper forces? There's more than one code? People can have subjective personal codes on top the Justicar one. What does that have to do with the Justicar code? 
Oh, hey, Justicart. Please don't kill me, because I am now going to change my ways now that I have declared my own code, and I'll choose not to get myself killed by doing whatever you don't want me to. And then if Samara kills herself, you can just kill her daughter, because apparently Samara decided to disobey the code, and since her daughter is an art at Yakshi, she's going to be such a menace on the galaxy. Because Reapers aren't that big a deal. She might become a menace to the Reapers in the monastery she's in or something? Wait, how is that going to be a bad thing? This is one of the worst scenes in the game, and I don't mean because it's sad. What kind of stupid rule or sutra in the Justicar Code says you have to kill Ardat Yakshis because a part of their home, which is a goddamn fortress, gets partially destroyed? It's like saying all prisoners in jail must receive the death penalty if one of the walls of the jail needs repair, when the only known behavior of the inmates is to cry and feather fall to the ground. Oh yeah, she'll be a menace to the galaxy. <laughs>